Hello, Marvel Hotline. Hi, this is Greg Pak, and you are listening to Marvel Hotline. This week, we're discussing Heroic Age, Prince of Power, number one. Uh, spoiler alert, uh, Hercules died in Incredible Hercules number 141, and uh, we sent him off in high style in the uh, Fall of an Avenger two-parter um, over the last couple of months, and now the truth has been revealed, and um, Amadeus Cho, Hercules' uh, brilliant and uh, oftentimes obnoxious sidekick, has uh, been named the new Prince of Power by uh, Athena, Hercules' uh, former patron. Um, and now, uh, but now Amadeus is going to use that power to do something else altogether. He's not going to serve Athena's, he's not going to do what Athena wants him to do, whatever that may be. Instead, Amadeus has his own agenda, and that is to go find Hercules. Because, again, spoiler alert, as we learned at the end of the Fall of the Avengers miniseries, Hercules is not in Hades, which is where one would expect him to be had he actually been killed. The Prince of Power is going to, uh, follow Amadeus as he, uh, takes hold of powers no mortal should possess in order to um, break the god's biggest taboos and bring Hercules back to the land of the living. There's just something appealing about having this, you know, brainy, glib, Korean-American teenager um, teamed up with, you know, some of the biggest, strongest, brawniest uh, characters in the Marvel Universe. They're just some fun contrasts there. Um, in a similar way, I think he's been a lot of fun uh, as a foil for She-Hulk and Namor and Angel and a bunch of other characters. Whenever they, whenever he interacts with other characters, it, it, it kind of brings out some fun, fun things. So in that way, I think he, he kind of filled a little uh, a little niche. Also, just the idea of like a superhero running around in civilian clothes. Um, it's just a different sort of uh, flavor. And uh, I love the Marvel Universe for having that kind of diversity. You know, always through the years, there's always been room for kind of quirky characters to to uh, to be introduced and to rise to the top, you know, bit by bit, or you know, to, to, to uh, have a chance at succeeding. And um, so, thank you, Marvel, <laughs> for letting us play with this guy for so long. I can get him out there in the world. My name is Greg Pock, and you've been listening to Marvel Hotline. Marvel, your universe.